اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولا تقول ثلاثہ انتہ خیر لکم انما اللہ الہ واحد صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدتم باللسانی یفقہ قولی Respected viewers and listeners, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The verse which I have recited is from Surah An-Nisa, chapter 4, verse 171, and it is the middle segment. Allah says, وَلَا تَقُولُ ثَلَاثَ And do not say Trinity. إِنْتَهُ خَيْرًا لَكُمْ It is better for you. إِنَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَهُمْ وَاحِدٌ as surely your God, your Allah is one. Wahid. I would like to add some addendum to this part. You see, Wahid word one, it could be debatable amongst the Christianity that God is in unity. He is one, but three in one, or one in three. To solve this sickness, Allah says in Surah Ikhlas chapter 112, قُلْ سَيَوْ مُحَمَّدْ هُوَ اللَّهُ آحَدْ He is alone, not one. Now this one gone into is gone into alone. Now when you say he is alone, all those other sicknesses are removed. Now God is one and alone. So now you cannot add those three, three in one, one or three, etc. This is the verdict of Islam. Very clear, succinct, tersely spoken that God Almighty is one and he is alone. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He does not beget nor he has begotten. Wa lam yakullahu kufu an ahad. And nothing is like unto him. He is absolute and eternal. Anything you think about God Almighty in your head is not befitting God's majesty. He is the spirit. We should worship him in his spirit as remarkably said in the Bible. That God is spirit. You cannot see God and live. And you have to worship him in true spirit and not in a body size shape or apparition. Coming back to the subject of Trinity. Today I am going to educate my Christians, brethren and sisters. What is Trinity? Does it really exist or it is a church, church's creation or teachings? Respected viewers and listeners, you will never be able to find a single verse in the Bible where the word Trinity has been mentioned. Let me repeat again. Not a single time in the entire Holy Bible you will find Trinity. But it is very strange that it is to be found in the Holy Quran. And two times. First, the ayah which I tantalized or read in the beginning. That Allah says that do not say Trinity is a noun, ism. Don't say Trinity that God is one of three or three in one. And in another place, Allah says, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ ثَالِثٌ ثَلَاثًا Anyone who says that God is one of the part of the three, or three or whatever the mystical form, he is doing blasphemy against Allah. And before that, if you go to verse 72 of Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, this is the ayah which is chapter 5, verse number 73. Go one verse before. Jesus Christ said, Allah is quoting Jesus' statement, which I will elaborate in the Bible. Allah says, لَقَدْ كَفَرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ الْمَسِيحِ إِبْنُ مَرْيَمْ Whosoever will say that Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, is God, is making kufr, is making blasphemy. وَقَالَ الْمَسِيحِ But remember what Christ said, Ya Bani Israel, la abadullah, O children of Israel, worship Allah. Rabbi wa Rabbakum, who is my Lord and your Lord. 
ان هو من يشرك بالله هو سوفر ويل اسوشيت اني ون ويد الله فقد حرم الله عليه الجنه الله ويل شورلي فوربيد بارادايس فور هيم اور هر وما هو النار اند ذا فاير اوف هيل ويل بي ذا دويلينج بليس وما للظالمين من انصار اند ذير از نو هيلبر ويل كم اون ذات دي ذس از فيري ستريكت وارنينج اني ون هو دايز بيليفينج جيسس از جاد هي از جوينج تو جهنم هي از جوينج تو هيل according to islam and according to jesus christ himself and this is my job to explain from your own bible first of all you need to understand what is trinity trinity is the concept which no pastor is able to explain yet 2022 is going to end no christian worth the name can explain you trinity yes they have to do circus they have to do acrobats they have to make it supposed to be in as much so but yes or no all these things has to be discussed but on a rational grounds on a succinct uh, ideologies they are failed never you bring three pastors in front of you and all of them simultaneously will say that we have the holy spirit inside us but when you start asking them the questions regarding trinity you watch each one of them how the holy spirit will start deserting them you ask one pastor same source of unit another explanation for the trinity other one another explanation another explanation you will never end you will never end this you know enigma this limbrith it will it is going on since this thing was postulated from the churches apologetics christians are apologetics and they are apologetics because they have to uh, supply apology to the rest of the world the things they crippled in the book of god they should be ashamed of that whereas islam and muslims has nothing to do with apology we self boast ourselves that we are having the haq the truth which jesus says that when the spirit of truth will come he will guide you into the all truth whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he shall tell you many new things to come and he shall glorify me who glorified jesus after christianity tell me any non christian faith who glorified jesus christ you will never find it except islam and this is the test in your own holy bible but unfortunately you don't see it and i am asking that what new truth the holy spirit gave you which jesus didn't give at his time just one what did he give you christian says all the uh, new testament all the scriptures holy spirit gave what is the solution what is the truth he gave you these are the copy of like eyewitnesses here witnesses what's the point what god is revealing this is what people are seeing there at that time revelation means something god is telling you which is unseen in front of your eyes these were the hair witnesses and the eye witnesses that the jesus whatever to happen to him and then all those eye witnesses if you cross reference they contradict one another this is not the subject of crucifixion every writer is different even in the divinity of god a divinity of christ inverted commas so what new thing did this holy spirit gave you for 2022 years nothing this is what islam tells you this holy spirit actually was a prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so trinity what is trinity the concept of trinity is absolutely pagan isis horus sith then krishna brahman vishnu then on and on isis this uh, atis of phrygia dionysus of greece mithra of persia these people 25th born december all these people similar stories i am asking this trinity did jesus ever preach it you don't need to go far is there any single statement any trinity any root is to be found in the bible regarding trinity tell me is there any no there is nothing you know clever christian they tell me okay fine you show us tawhid in the quran 
You see, I always tell you, these Christians are so desperate. I'm talking about born again TV evangelists, these debaters, especially from Pakistan, these debaters who are born again protestants, they they are asking me, okay, you are demanding us to show Trinity word in the Holy Bible. They know they are failed. Show us Tawheed in the Quran. You see, they are so stupid. They don't know that Tawheed is the concept. It's coming from the word Ahad, oneness. You show me in your Bible anything, the root of Trinity. Come on, show me. Salafa in Arabic, Thalith, Salafa, show us in Hebrew where Jesus or Greek, or coined Greek, where Jesus is saying something similar, the root of Trinity. You will never find it. You see, in English, we have base verbs. The base verbs changes into different positions, infinitive verbs. You see, you need to see the base. Then the words are changes, changing into that. Tell me and show me which base word is to be found in the Bible regarding Trinity. You never find it. You never find anywhere Jesus preaching Trinity. Two places in the entire Bible you find the Trinity concept. And all those two are debunked by the Christian scholars themselves. You know, we do not have to do this thing. Subhanallah, Allah has given all privileges, all prerogatives, all things in our hands, the haqq. But unfortunately, we are not doing our jobs. Allah Azim, we are not doing. We are so helpless. We are so confused. We don't know what's what we have to talk, what the, how the, what's the way we should talk. Our training is lost. We do not know our own tenets. We do not know our own dogmas. We are so weak in our own. We are questioning on our own religion. Subhanallah. This is the sad part. Irony of fate. Fitna Dajjal. The trials and the commotion of Dajjal. This will happen. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says that the confusion, the dichotomy, ambivalence will prevail among my ummah. And this is one of the signs of the Yawm Al-Qiyamah. Trinity. Two places. Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 where Jesus is supposed to be saying baptize my people in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Joseph Ratzinger this former German Pope who passed away he said in his book that this formula of Trinity is the addition into the later text and it is not came from the city of Jerusalem, rather it was added later from the city of Rome. And Jesus Christ never been to Rome. And he said that this originally, this Trinitarian formula was not in the text. It is the later edition. Go and ask Joseph Ratzinger. And if you say that, no, he was not the Christian, that this is the Protestant's point of view, then please for your kind information, they came before you, they are more orthodox than you, after the Eastern Orthodox churches, after you, you came so later by the, the inspiration of Martin Luther and Kelvin. So you need to watch your own house first, sweep your own doors, then you have to talk to about other people. So he said, this is it. And the second thing where you find this formula, second epistle of John chapter 5 verse 7, where it's written, that there, bear, that there bear three records in the heaven, the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. And all these three are one. You see sickness, I just cleared that sickness in the beginning. That God in the Quran is alone, not one, he's alone. You can't add anything to the loneliness. He's alone. He's alone in his dominion. He's the king. وَقُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ الَّذِي لَمْ يَتَّخِذْ وَلَدًا وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ شَرِيكًا فِي الْمُلْكِ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ وَلِيٌّ مِنَ الذُّلِّ وَكَبِّرْهُ تَكْبِيرًا Allah, He is the one who is the real king. He does not need anyone. He has no children. He has no friends. He doesn't need any help. 
He is totally alone in his all dominion and power and sublime glory. So what you ought to do? Everyone, O oh, mankind, say, Then glorify him alone as Jesus Christ said in John chapter 17. That, oh my father, I have finished the work you gave us to me. And what was the work? That I had glorified thee, that thou art the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. What is the meaning of thou art the only true God? What is the meaning of only in your own English language? That only means you are the only true God. So who is Jesus then? How can another God is saying that you are the only true God? Then who was he? See, do you know that? Christianity has nothing, nothing to do with all these things. You know that these are the handwritten books. You know in your hearts, many pastors, many big, big deities of doctor of divinity in, in Christianity, they do not believe that Jesus Christ is God anymore. This is the pastors of the churches. They need money and donation. Why don't you understand this? Even in their preaching, you can sense there is no confidence. They are shaking. They are not well in their heads. Cognitive dissonance. You can see confusion. But the poor people, the layman, who knows what the games have been played for the thousands of the years. Who would catch those things? Who will untangle all those, you know, tangled wires? Who has the time? So we have the time, alhamdulillah. We will untangle those wires. And this is the message from my humble, like something from the humble heart. From humility, humility. That I am sharing this to my Western world that open your eyes and come to the fold of Islam. Do not believe in media, do not believe what people say, who don't believe on crooks, all those you know, bad sheep Muslims amongst you. They do not represent Islam. You want to go to Islam, go to the holy book of Islam, you will see everything will be cleared out from the falsehood. So, Trinity, first epistle of John. Chapter 5 verse 7 has been taken out as a fabrication in the RSV and it is came into the footnote. Joseph Radzler 20 and 19 debunked. If you do not believe, let's go to further. Matthew chapter 3 verse 11. John the Baptist said that the one who is coming after me about laces, tying the laces, that he is more superior than me and he will baptize you with the fire. One place. That book of Acts chapter 1 is written, he will baptize you with the fire and water. And Matthew 28, 19 says, he will baptize you with the Father, Son and the Holy Ghost. Even these baptisms are contradictory to one another. This is how good your documents are. And nowhere Jesus Christ in the entire Bible ever baptized anyone in the name of Father, Son and the Holy Ghost. Because... John the Baptist said, when he will come, whom I cannot even tie his laces, he will baptize you with fire. Book of Acts, epistle, another Luke. Luke says that when he will come, he will baptize you with fire and water, two entities. Where did Jesus baptize anyone with fire and water? Show me one verse. Show me. Where did he baptize anyone with these things? All creeping into the scriptures, talking statements and no results. So, Trinity, another debunked. So, what's the result? No Trinity is to be found in the Bible. It is the creation of the church. 325 AD, Council of Nicaea by Constantinople in Turkey, Antioch. Where the representatives came all over, all over the different ideologies and the sects. By the showing of hands, they anointed Jesus God and Trinitarian to be the final official religion of Rome as well as Turkey because Constantine was ruling there and he changed Europe into Trinitarian. Ask these Christians why don't they tell you these stories? Ask them. And then after this converting, these people, rest of them were persecuted. That is why when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came in 600, Constantine the Constantinian Trinitarians were more than Unitarians and they were ruling half of the Europe because it was happened in Constantine uh, this uh, 325 AD before 300 years of Prophet's birth 
and whole of the Europe became Christian as a Trinitarian. Few of the Trinitarians, they also put Mary, Hail Mary into the Trinity. Those sect was finished. And then later on, they added Holy Ghost, Jibreel, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, alayhi salam, into the concept of Trinity. My dear brothers and sisters, the final verdict I'm going to pass. Nowhere in the Bible Jesus ever taught about Trinity, even calling himself God. He never said, I am God, worship me. He never said, I'm the part of the Trinity. But on the contrary, he said that, Shama Israelu Adna Ilahainu Adna Ikhad, here, O Israel, our God, our Lord is one, in Mark chapter 16. And then in another place, he said that, copy this formula from Deuteronomy chapter 6, where Moses said the same thing, that our God, Shama Israel, here, Israel, our Lord, our God is one. Quran says, Ahad, one. The Bible says one. And then Jesus further says that, Oh God Almighty, you are the only true God. And you have sent me into the world. I have finished my work. Give me my reward. I'm ending by Matthew 23, 9. And Jesus says, And call no man your father on this earth, as there is only one your father, which you are in the heavens.